Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install preset packs and sample packs in FL Studio. So the first thing you want to do is make a new folder somewhere on your computer. You can make this folder wherever you want. You can have it on an external hard drive if you prefer, or you can just have it anywhere on your computer. Uh, for this video I'm going to make it in my uh, music folder. And then you can name this folder whatever you want to as well. Um, I'm just going to name it My Library. Now once you've made this folder, you can open it up. And you don't have to do this, but I very much recommend you do. And this is, you can make some folders within this folder that will help to categorize and organize your sounds. Uh, so you can do this as much or as little as you want. But, you know, the more organized your sound library is, the more efficient your workflow will be. Um, just because it'll be a lot easier to find the sounds you want when you want them. And if you're interested in some pointers and tips uh, when it comes to organizing your sound library, I do have a video where I talk about that, and I will link to that in the description. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to add two categories. One of them is going to be samples, and the other will be presets. So now that I've done this, I can go and find my you know sample packs or preset packs, which I have right here. I have one preset pack and one sample pack, and you can see they are you know compressed um, zip files, and this is probably going to be the case with any you know, sample packs you download, they're going to be some kind of compressed file, either a zip or a RAR file. And to use those sounds in FL Studio, you do have to extract them. Um, so you can do this by, you know, opening the zip file and then, you know, dragging the contents out into the new folder you've made. Or you can right click it and select to extract all and then you know select the correct folder and you can see this extracted it to the same folder so I'm just going to drag that and put it into my library and if your um, sample pack happens to be in a RAR file uh, you pretty much do the same thing but you will have to download uh, a program either you know WinRAR or WinZip or something like that to extract it and I'll have links to where you can download those in the description as well. So you can see here in my library, I have um, you know the sample packs extracted, and I'm going to put the sample pack under samples, and the preset pack under presets. Now, once you've done this, you want to go into FL Studio, and hit Options, File Settings, and this window will pop up. And there are a couple options. You can um, go down to Browse Extra Search Folders and click the folder icon. And um, you, know, you can browse your computer for the correct folder. Uh, and then select it and hit OK. And alternatively, you can uh, when you're in the folder, you can right click the address bar and copy the address and then double click one of the text boxes next to that folder icon and paste the folder location into that text box. And once you've done this, you're pretty much done. Uh, you can see there are quite a few folders, uh, so you can link you know, a number of folders to Evil Studio. Um, I personally prefer to just keep all my sounds in a single folder called My Library, but if you prefer to use separate folders, you can. Um, and you can see that doing this has added a section to the browser called My Library, and if I open that up, you'll see the presets, and then the preset pack, and the samples, and the sample pack. And so now I can, you know, take samples from this pack, I can preview them. 
I can put them into my project and all that. And then same thing with the presets. Uh, yeah, I can load up the presets. And so doing this works with any kind of audio files that Ethel Studio recognizes. Um, so like WAV, MP3, etc. And it also works with any FL Studio files. Um, so presets for native plugins, um, mixer track presets, the FL Studio piano roll score files, and a few different ones as well. Um, but if you've downloaded a preset pack for a VST plugin that isn't native to FL Studio, um, this probably won't work. You probably will have to read the manual for that VST plugin and see how it handles the presets. Uh, but doing it this way does work for anything that is native to FL Studio. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope it was helpful. If you're interested at all in these, um, you know, preset or the sample pack that was featured in this video, I will have links to those in the description as well as where you can find some other sample packs and preset packs for FL Studio. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials about FL Studio, and I'll see you next time.